a lot of clients come to us when they're either facing a ticket that could suspend their driver's license or if they've already had their driver's license suspended because they didn't realize that a ticket that they were facing was going to suspend their driver's license. And most of those people are individuals who are under 21 years of age because they don't realize all the ways that their license can be suspended. So today I'm gonna to go over the three categories of drivers for Georgia and the ways that the, their licenses can be suspended. I'm Paul Ganuni, founder and managing attorney at the Teen and Young Adult Defense Firm. Where we focus on helping protect the futures of teens and young adults who get in trouble with the law. Our firm focuses primarily on helping individuals who are in their mid-20s and younger. Now, the information I'm gonna provide you today is general advice. It's not legal advice specific to your case. If you need legal advice specific to your case, please contact our office to schedule a complimentary defense strategy meeting to discuss your circumstances. When discussing drivers and how their licenses can be suspended, I break drivers down into three categories. Those who are 21 and older, those who are 18 to 20, and those who are 17 and under. Now, these categories impact whether something is gonna suspend a person's driver's license or not. With individuals who are 21 and older, they have a total of 15 points that they can get on their driver's history. And if you're wondering what types of things carry what types of points, you can take a look at our website. We include a point chart for Georgia to go over that information for you. So those drivers can get 15 points within a 24 month period before their driver's license is suspended. However, there are certain serious traffic offenses that can result in a suspension of their driver's license. Those serious traffic offenses include things like hit and run, fleeing or attempting to elude, DUI, racing, driving with a suspended registration, driving with invalid insurance, uh, without insurance, as well as many other types of serious traffic offenses. But those are the most common ones that we see. When you move into the 18 to 20 category, all of those same things are gonna suspend you if you have the 15 or more points in 24 months, or if you end up with one of those serious traffic offenses. However, the additional thing that's added is if you get a single four point offense, that's going to automatically suspend you as well. Now, the most common place that we see that single four point offense is a speeding ticket going 24 miles or more over the speed limit. The other places that we see that are typically going to be reckless driving charges. They're typically going to be uh, aggressive driving charges, improper passing on a hill or a curve, improper passing of a school bus. Um, and those are the primary ones that we see that are four or more points that cause the suspension for those 18 to 20 year olds. The next category of driver, which is those 17 and under, all of the above are gonna suspend them as well. The additional thing that's going to suspend them is instead of having this 15 points that they can get in up to 24 months, they can only get four or more points in a 12 month period of time. And four points may sound like a lot, but practically speaking, almost every moving violation in Georgia is a three point offense. And so if you have two moving violations almost, of almost any two moving violations, you'll hit that four points uh, and that will result in a suspension of their driver's license. Now, what happens that we see a lot of times is people get these tickets, they don't think about it ahead of time, they go to court and they just pay them and they don't realize their license is gonna be suspended. Um, and then they get a notice in the mail that their license is suspended or they go online and pay them. They may not realize the point values of these different types of tickets as well. And I frequently tell people, trying to get your very first ticket reduced or resolved in a way that is favorable is usually the easiest one to try to address because sometimes people will get that first ticket and just pay it and then think, well, I'll do get a lawyer if I have a ticket in the future. And we would highly recommend, highly encourage you to at least seek a consultation about a ticket that you get to make sure it doesn't fall in one of these categories, especially if you're an under 21 driver, and to see what options are available for you to try to get that ticket reduced or dismissed or addressed in another way that doesn't end up on your driver's history and impacting you um, from a driver's license perspective as well as from an insurance perspective. Now, one key thing about these ages that a lot of people don't realize is the age is not the age at the time that you get your ticket. It's the age of the time when your ticket gets resolved. And so that can be something that can help shift you from the 17 and under category to the 18 to 20 category, or the, 20, the 18 to 20 category up to the 21 and up category. If you're dealing with or facing a driver's license suspension or a serious traffic ticket or any ticket and you're under 21, please contact our office to see if we can help you with that situation. Thank you.